I assume it's your word that God gave you during this week. So um, I think it's time that the prophets arrive and come and share what God has told them to see that God is speaking from one mouth. And she just shared um, Jeremiah 33, 3, and the whole page was full of God is a limitless God. God is a limitless God. So I want to say to you that God is really busy speaking and God is really saying the same thing. Don't box me in. Don't box me in because it's my time and my set time. Now, I want you to repeat after me. Word on the move. Now say it like you mean it. Okay, this is exactly what I received. Okay, because I was, we were busy ministering and I'm like, Jesus, come through for me because I know that our children, our sheep needs a word of the Lord for right now. And as I was praying yesterday already, God showed me when I was preparing yesterday for the service yesterday, God showed me a gate, but I didn't really pay attention to the gate because I really had another focus. And I said, Holy Spirit, thank you for the gate. I received the gate. And I continued to prepare my service for yesterday and what we had to do yesterday and this morning when I was busy with my personal quiet time. I said, Holy Spirit, I'm sorry. If the gate means something that you want to release to anyone in, in Kingdom GPS, then I want you to show me the gate again. And suddenly, I had a vision of the gate right in front of me. But this wasn't a normal gate. The gate was a gate that looked like a clock, literally. And I felt the Father was say, saying to me, Kari, this is the time gate. This is the time gate I'm opening up because I am readjusting the time over many children's lives. I'm smashing the timelines and the time frame that earth has placed over people's timelines. God is saying, I'm breaking in and I'm coming with the impossibility. Tell my children they are about to enter into a season of the impossibilities. A season where I will break in and I will shift and I will change things so that things will start looking as the way heaven needs it to look for the assignment is great and what the enemy wants to do he wants to interfere through the certain delays and stuff he wants to interfere with people's assignments and many people are at a place that they feel isn't there another assignment maybe I have got the wrong assignment and God is saying, no, I am adjusting your timelines. I'm breaking in and I'm smashing the time frame that the enemy thought he can place over you. And I specifically felt that the Lord says, I'm releasing the wind of my spirit and things will start being easy in your life. I saw a picture of dominoes falling and God says the wind of my spirit will cause things to start falling into place in a moment. God says one moment it will be like this and the next moment there will be a shift. And it will be according to heaven's timeline. Because God says, it is my fixed time for many that has been holding on for dear life. For I'm breaking in and I'm coming and I am the limitless God and I'm removing the limits. I'm removing the limits. And I felt that the Lord is saying, I'm, tell my children I'm mindful of them. And the enemy has been telling them and putting them in time frames and limitations where they felt that I'm not mindful of them. And it's a lie. The Lord says, I need to tell you, he is mindful over you and he watches his word over you to see he's counting down the minutes so that time can shift that the miracles can be birthed in your life for the cause of the assignment, for what your assignment is. And this actually reminded me, you know, when heaven interferes in our timelines and heaven brings a shift and heaven starts interfering, the impossibilities just give way. You don't have a choice. Things just start falling into place. And this actually reminded me of Luke 7, when the widow of Nain, you can all remember the story. She thought, according to Earth's timeline, that she stepped over a timeline where she had, had to say goodbye to her only son. And she was part of a group of people that were mourning because they were going to take 
her son to bury him. And it specifically, the Bible says it was a widow of Nain, which tells me she is familiar with death. She's familiar that time brings timelines and there's ends to certain things. And the moment she stepped, the Bible said, she stepped through the gate of the city to bury her son. Jesus was coming from the front. And I believe as she prophetically stepped through the gate, there was a shift in the realm of the spirit. When she entered the natural gate, the gate in the heavens opened, and there was a shift in timeline. And God stepped out of eternity, who he is outside of our time. And he stepped into a time, and he smashed the time frame that says it's the end. End. And he caused an impossibility in a moment to become possible. And God is saying, as you are sitting here, we are sitting in a timeline where God is saying that the enemy has told many of you, this is the end. The enemy has told many of you, there's no other way. God is saying, this is a prophetic time gate I'm opening over many of my children. And God says, you will see how the impossibility will become possible in one moment, if you believe. And I want to say to you, God is mindful of us, and I see it every single day. I cannot tell you how many, seek, how many miracles we've seen over this weekend. I actually want to cry. How God shows up. Can you remember last week I said unexpectedly? Even to us ourselves, we had miracles this weekend, personal, personal miracles. And I want to say to you, it is a season where God is saying, Get ready for the impossibilities. The giant that you've been facing, eyeballing him, he's telling you the whole time, I'm bigger than you. God is saying, I'm bigger than the giant. And I will roar over my children and there'll be a shift and the time will break over them. And God says, I will usher you into my timeline for the season of impossibilities. And this morning I gave a prophetic word. I didn't know. Holy Spirit just said to me, just release this word. Someone received bad news, terrible news this week. And God says there's something that we need to deal with. Come forward. A young man came forward. And I said to him, the Lord shows me, you received a bad report and you're about to die. He burst in tears. And he says, yes. And I canceled the assignment of death over him, and he knew about this. And I said to him, the Lord shows me, you even dreamt that you see yourself in the coffin and you're going to die. And he said, that's true, I even dreamt of it last night. It's, it's real. And, I, and, and in that moment, I was just thinking, how amazing is God that he would send someone from Cape Town to tell someone in Joburg that God says he's going to break in and he's going to shift things and he's going to change things because God has got the final say. Listen here, the enemy has been telling many of us things will happen according to earth's timeline. God is saying things will happen according to heaven's timeline. And it's not over until God says it's over. And as I prophesied over that, that young man, we broke the timelines. And I said to him, God shows me that all the men died mysteriously except your father. He just burst. He, he just kept on crying. And he says, it's true. It's true. It's true. All the men. I'm like the only man, man alive in my family line. And afterwards, I heard it was just this week that his father died by axe. And they were after him. So I want to say to you, God is so mindful of you that he knows every moment, every second of the day, what you need, when you need it, and how you need it. It's all about how you are positioned. And if you believe that God is saying, I'm the God of the impossible, and you hold onto that with faith, God will bring forth his angels. He will shift times and seasons over your life, and you will enter the season of impossibilities so that those ones that's been looking at you will stand amazed at what God will do in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen.